that the connected car is the next big thing in technology. And for years, I've been saying that if an electronics company wanted to own this business, it had to buy Harman International Industries, which is the number one maker of automobile infotainment systems that integrate everything from navigation to media, safety solutions, smartphone connectivity, as well as making high-end audio systems. And it looks like somebody finally took my advice. Terry found out that Samsung, the South Korean electronics titan, is acquiring Harman for $112 per share, or $8 billion. That's nearly a 28% premium versus where it was trading on Friday. Even if Samsung didn't have this exploding phone problem, this would be a very smart takeover. Over. That's why we want to check in with Dinesh Paliwal. Dinesh is the chairman and CEO of Harman International Industries. Find out more about the rationale for this deal and the future of the company as a special independent Samsung subsidiary. Mr. Paliwal, welcome back to Mad Money and congratulations. Good How are you, sir? Good to see Thank you, you. Thank you for your early communication this morning, which is so exciting. <laughs> We're going to put together, I have to tell you in advance, a wall of fame of the people who have just made us money. This was remarkable. Why did you do the deal now? So much was going right. People want to know why this is the right time to sell. Well, Jim, we've been talking about that the technology transformation in automotive industry has right. been really at rapid pace, right. and the scale matters now. I think at Harman, we have really maximized, and we will continue right. to grow. But we've right. been saying in a partnership, either Google, Microsoft, Intel, we've been doing that. Right. And when the Samsung opportunity in the, during the summer came up, and we started talking, we found out so many similarities of complementary technology. They're into high-end display. They're into processor. They are into 5G connectivity. They're investing in artificial right. intelligence and ADAS and speech engine. Totally complementary. Put it all together, we can have a proof of concept which is ready to go in L3, L4, uh, connected, autonomous driving right. experience. Now, I know you probably got tired of me saying that I thought that Apple should buy you, but I just wonder, you mentioned a lot of companies. Were there people who were uh, interested in it and that Samsung just came out the highest? And I know you probably, I know you're not allowed to reveal which names, but um, were there other companies that wanted very much to buy Harman? Well, you know, you called out two years ago, and here we are. I, I, mean, I was laughing. I said, Jim, I know. you know, Jim, a crystal ball, you called out. But frankly, what we see that, the integration of these two companies, when we right. put it together, this is really dynamite because so complementary. There's hardly right. any overlap. And you know right. what they also said? Really to give confidence to the R&D engines of the United States, Germany, they said, we keep the headquarters, we keep the management team. I'm actually super excited to run this company with all the synergies right. from the deep R&D, which will actually accelerate the R&D innovation we've been driving. Well, let's talk about the R&D. Last year you came on and you talked about about hacking the autonomous vehicle. <laughs> and people, I remember saying, emailing me or tweeting me and saying, what is he talking about? They're a speaker company, for heaven's sake. You saw a threat coming and bought a company that would probably be worth three or four times what it's worth then. How did you see this stuff coming? Well, Jim, I'm so glad you asked because the cyber attack, the th the threat is in your home, right. it's in your car, it's in your personal devices. Right. And we in the cars, for crying out loud, this is a life and death. Right. So we bought this company. This is our third company in Israel in cybersecurity, over-the-air update technology. Mm -hmm. So we want to double down in cybersecurity. Right. In fact, I will share with you, NHTSA, together with University of Michigan, just announced in a study, they ranked Harman as the best cybersecurity solution in the world. We're delighted. Yeah. And we continue to invest and double down. So adding that and the over there update and the, all the data analytics software, which we have also acquired right. recently. Jim, I feel very excited about the future, not just in automotive, but what about our connected car audio systems, right. Right. individual sound zone. Homes are going also connected home with all IoT. So this is another synergy with, with all the television, the display technology of Samsung, and our audio technology right. and our brand in professional and in home. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the, uh, the professional in terms of the, uh, the real car aficionado. Even since we've seen each other, you have won higher and higher end auto companies, right? Some of these cars cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they're using your systems. You know what we're seeing? An incredible differentiation technique car companies are using. So look, BMW. Yeah. BMW has used two or three brands to differentiate ultra-high technology, mm -hmm. uh, ultra-high uh, luxury car. So they use our technology, Bowers and Wilkins, then Harman Kardon. Same thing we see in Audi, they use Bang & Olufsen, which right. is also Harman That was brand. a brilliant acquisition in retrospect, wasn't it? A lot of people felt that you that paid too much. That was a phenomenal much. acquisition. In fact, that led to almost a billion dollar order from Ford yes. for BNO Play, which right. will be cross-car line, and that would really lift the Ford car differentiation. Right. So we're delighted that this car branding architecture, Jim, we are now in 80% of the luxury cars, right. and this branding is big deal in Asians. I come from Asia. Right. The <laughs> iconic American brands is what differentiating. 
They look at the brand and say, wow, I have an American rock and roll brand or I have Harman right. Kardon brand. But, it's a big deal. Well, it's important to mention you have two plants in China. You're making a lot of Chinese internal. You know, we have a very regional approach. So right. we make in America for Americas. Mm -hmm. In Europe, we make in Hungary. In China, we have China plant. We have yes. India plant. But that's for region. And it is all about close to customer. We have manufacturing right. close to customer. We have R&D close to customer. We have engineering and sales and service close to customer. Well, I was trying to tell people that in your, in your Cretro plant, it is right in the middle of all the fancy car plants. So it's not like that they have to build their cars and then send them to you. You are part of their just-in-time supply chain. There you go. You see, Caretro is becoming one of the top-notch technology right. park. I was recently there visiting. Isn't it, it great? It's an incredible plant. Yeah. I mean, we, are, we have certified BMW manufacturing mm -hmm. approach, Toyota approach, Audi, Daimler, Ford, all of the car companies. It's, it is actually consistently same quality whether we make in Germany, United Absolutely. States, Mexico, or China, or Hungary. Our last yeah. question. We know that there's talk because of a, a change in uh, our uh, presidential... You know, obviously, this is election year, trade war. Do we, do you, from your perspective, because you are a globalist, is, is it possible that the U.S. could trigger a trade war with some of uh, our longstanding partners? Jim, I hope not. Right. You know, businesses are global. Right. The great American companies are very globally diversified, you know, and you do not want to have this quid pro quo. I mean, we take hard action, though, so will they, and they'll hurt the global economy, and we do not want that. So it's like the example we just started our talk, the Samsung Harman, which, by the way, created an unbelievable great uh, premium, 37% premium over 30-day average. Oh. It's a great integration. Once we start to put our technology together, remember, realize what we will take the auto industry, the home industry, right. the professional industry to a whole new level. But if we have protectionism, all of right. these things will not be where we want them to see. Let's leave it there. I want to again congratulate you and your shareholders, Dinesh Paliwal, Harman, Chairman and CEO, who saw a lot of things coming and got a lot of things right. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.